Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm the Mysterious JG. Um, hoping I have good luck with my... What? No, what are you... My TV is acting funny now. Hoping I have good luck with my... Um, what you call them? Um, PC today. I had spent all weekend various times, like three different efforts by me and Bobo the Vulture. And by three efforts, I mean each effort involved about five reboots of the computer before giving up. To record together uh, on something. Haven't had any trouble with Solo. It only seems to be when I'm trying to do something that involves networking, sharing Discord, you know, OBS, whatever. So hopefully things will work out for us today. I um, did a bunch of uh, CanQuest off screen. I, um, as you get to different ranks in CanQuest, there is non-voice acted dialogue, which I don't think... I'd save different slots. I don't think I'm going to bother to showcase it. He just like the the can guys like hey you did a good job you're really coming up here are some bonus points for you variations on that theme throughout but for now I think I am one well, let's make small talk cause I haven't done that small talk if you really want to rake in the cans there's three things you gotta do get a good handle on that bike keep an eye on your map and hit as many places as possible other than that just slam an energy drink and show your rivals what's up come again. But, um, as you can see, we're almost maxed out on our rank. We are at, you're at boy, you're at like boy of cans, man of cans. I don't remember what the middle one was. Now we're hero of cans. I don't know what we're about to get, god can, but, um, I've got S rank on everything. Um, there's really no point in playing in any mode other than hard because the multipliers are better on hard for your cans that you gain. And there's just more cans to be collected on hard. So let's. I'll do. I'll do one playthrough on hard, and then we'll see what happens when we win can quest. Because I'm pretty sure you clear the quest by getting the highest rank in this, and that from this point on, we can just keep collecting cans, just you know, to collect cans for for the rewards you can turn them in for. But I don't actually know what the best ones are, so I'm going to wait until we actually get need of some of these things. Time for a can quest. So hopefully I can do a decent job because I've had several S ranks off screen on hardest difficulty. Um, so now, watch me on screen just completely fail, but it'd be nice if I could uh, equip myself reasonably well here. There's a couple of key things. You always need to have a blue guy on hand because, uh, that is what allows you to, um, hit other drivers and take their cans rather than having them take cans from you. Knowing the minimap is a good idea as far as being able, like, paying attention to where... The next reward worth gathering is that's worth 30, so it's worth a lot more than just hanging around and getting generic cans. Actually, not having a particularly exciting run here. But um, hitting the other drivers is a really good thing. You get cans, and uh, they get cleared out temporarily. That's money. So we got somebody coming right now. He's trying to get us. We're gonna try to get him. I actually totally messed that up. Yeah, I completely messed that up. That sucked, actually. So I'm not having a good run compared to, like, some of what I was doing off-screen, honestly. I would be farther along in the can count than this, so we might not get S-rank. Well, sometimes you really do turn things around with some lucky placement of the big piles. Because that guy was about to hit me, so I figured I'd use a boost. You don't want to hit the garbage trucks, that's bad news. You lose a lot of cans that way. And we have the person who comes out and drops can things worth five. Not quite as exciting as it sounds, actually. But if we come go along where she was, you can get some bigger stacks of cans. Boy, that guy. I, I, I like to hit the turbo boost when there's like two or three of those guys around and hit, hit several with one boost. You can get a lot of cans that way. But the main thing is to avoid uh, hitting things and crashing out and losing your cans, obviously. Sometimes it's a good idea to use a boost just because you have another boost that you're gonna immediately going to get, so why not use the one you have? Gotta fly. 
Okay, that guy was about to hit me, so I boosted. There's usually a blue can up here. There wasn't this time, so that was unfortunate for me. So now this guy is trying to chase me down. That's bad news. Oh, I completely lost track of the time limit. Oops. Oh, man, I, I totally forgot there was a time limit. Like, I did this a bunch of times off screen. Always did fine. So we'll get no bonus for this at all. Why is this so hard? D rank. Yeah. Failed. Uh, failed. Wow. We still get King of Kang rank. King of Kang rank because I was so close. But yeah, I, I got an S rank off screen plenty of times, and then I just I completely didn't register when they said 30 seconds left that I should be heading back to the start point. So that's the worst possible finish is not getting back on time. You just get whatever cans you had with no multiplier bonus. But got some great news for you. Despite you being terrible, what? Kasuga, you've been crowned the king of cans. Huh? I have my own set of can collector ranks, and you just rose to the very top. You gonna give it all that we got? I'm a dragon's keeper rising to the top. Oh, what? That's right, something good happens when you become the Don. Something good happened when you become the Don? I'll tell you stuff from my shop's hidden menu. No way, awesome. Wait, hold up. That's just a nice way of saying you're going to profit off me some more. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Well, all right there, wise guy. Here's your final login bonus. Use this to shop around. These login bonuses he described, uh, that's when your last login bonus. Honestly, it's kind of sad. But just because you won't be getting more bonuses doesn't mean you got to stop collecting cans. That just won't do. No good, huh? I'll keep you working hard, and before long, you'll have brought everything at my shop. Oh, wow. I get it. I get it. I'll keep coming back. Counts on. Sure thing. Yep, so these login bonuses he mentioned, again, non-voice acted off uh, dialogue that I saw off screen. I forgot to start my timer. I'm really disorganized this morning. Um, but the, uh, so let me see, how many minutes are we in? Seven minutes in. Oh, no, I did start my, I'm, I'm losing my mind here. I started my timer and then something popped up over my timer and made me think I hadn't started it. But yeah, off screen, uh, I would get little dialogues like that where he would say things. I, I thought there might have been more to it when you when you won the full on quest, which is why I s started recording now instead of just finishing the quest off screen and getting the master rank. But apparently not. But yeah, similar little dialogues like, "Oh, you've gotten better. Here is a login bonus." What's a login bonus? Well, that just basically means a bonus I'm going to give you for advancing a can rank. So these are one time bonuses. Like from now on, I just get whatever cans I've earned. I don't get little bonus amounts from him, but. How are you feeling today? Well, let's uh, let's shop. So we have almost two hundred fifty thousand uh, can points, and these things are not ranked by how expensive they are. But honestly, even at this rank, there's well, they're yeah, elegant pouch. Um, makes normal attacks do deal magic damage. Recover MP with normal attacks. Vintage guitar. Imitation bag. So this is what you're really supposed to be saving up for. Is um, like this is high end gear for a job for one of the female characters that we don't have any of them yet. There's only two female characters. One of them is a main story character. The other one, I guess, you get through side quests and she's optional. But um, this would be like a high-end piece of gear for one of them to use. Um, and I don't think this was available before. I think these only pop up as things we can buy once we finish this, the quest. But that's kind of what we're supposed to do, I guess, is buy, um, buy gear. And um, something I read said you should be buying tissues. Um... I don't really get it. Pocket tissues. Like, I guess you need these for something later in the game. I don't know what. Uh, somebody said, oh, you should, use, you should use these points to buy a cockroach because you need that for crafting. So maybe that would make sense. Why do they have, like... Why have they got the, the cockroach all pixely? I don't know. The thing that appeared most interesting to me were these books that you can buy up to 10 each of these books that increase charisma... Uh, passion and uh, kindness. But A, that's only three of the six personality traits that you have to level up for Kasuga. And B, that just seems like a 
it seems like there's probably cheaper ways to do it. So, what I want to do is save my game. In case we decide we made a terrible mistake. And I can always come back and grind for more cans later, but... I want to save the game. What kind of gear have we actually got already? He's... Both of them are equipped with, like, nothing. So... I would think just buying whatever gear they can equip, two of each, would be better than having nothing. So... Purchase Dirty Tengu. Again, I don't even know. That's Okay, that's a helmet. That's also a helmet. That's a shirt. That's a shirt. So there's no point in buying all of this. This is for a job we don't have yet. These guys can both equip worn-out leather shoes or scruffed sandals, which is better. Same price. Both of them. This is two defense. This is one defense, one magic, one agility. These are probably better. And we got work clothes or stretch shirt. Defense 3, dexterity 4 sounds better than defense 4. Really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Even a used washcloth would be a better choice. Well, unless that's literally true, I'm... And I could get a used washcloth. I think I need to get this. And if it turns out that I should have uh, waited because immediately better stuff would be available that would be cheaper, then fine. This is Defense 3 with some electrical resistance. This is Defense 1, Magic 2. I think that we might actually differentiate our equipment here. The guy who, who doesn't use magic is going to use the thing that's all defense. And the guy who uses magic will get the thing that boosts magic. And that was... Those are pretty cheap. I mean, compared to the things... We're talking like 80000 the price on some of the stuff I wanted to buy, so... And this... Like, we might need this eventually, but we'll hold off for it now. Your very own piece of trash. Pocket tissue, ordinary tissue. You see a lot of people in the city giving these out to the passerby. Like, again, I don't know what the purpose of these would be. But apparently there's something we should think about holding on to. And if I come across a recipe where I need cockroach, I'll come back. Because you never know, you might find a cockroach on your own in the meantime. And then there's a bunch of tokens for the um, pachinko slots. I can't. I don't know why you would grind for points to use a one-use token. And apparently uh, using uh, recycling points to buy money is apparently a huge waste. Like the game even kind of tells you that's not a good idea. And... Uh, the tiny little bit I was able to find about what's worth buying at this place. Because most of the articles, it's like, full guide, 100% complete guide on can game, and it just gives you the basic input controls that the game already tells you. So the closest thing I got to something that actually talked intelligently about what you want to do with this game just said, um, buy those handkerchiefs and make sure you save enough for a cockroach. And no comment whatsoever on whether you should be buying the really expensive items. Like, Something that bases this this increases your job rank on one of the jobs, and I'm like that seems like t you can just get that from just regular old fighting, which will also be giving you money and general experience. So why would you use the can game, especially because it's like <laughs> I could afford two of these, and I probably spent less than two hours playing the can mini game to get to the max rank. Honestly, it's not huge time sink, but um still. So that's, um, just, um, having that tiny bit of gear, just feel a little bit less, um, a little less naked. Matter of fact, we don't get accessories, but we've got everything else. Like, I didn't realize what... You get you get to wear something on your head, something on your chest, and something on your shoes. I guess pants are I guess pants are just kind of, you know kind of as being with your shirt somehow. Oh, hold on. Do I have stuff I could be equipping here? Mysterious Masaga Bryce will help the wearer stay conscious through any impact. Oh, I guess this is I guess I didn't realize I had stuff 
from um, from the DLC or from for getting the day one edition. I've got things I could be equipping. All right. Um, so we can be immune to stun, immune to heat, immune to rage. Greatly decreases MP cost of skills. That would be a good thing for our mage. Sacrifice Oma. Knocked out HP recovers and this item breaks. Okay, we don't really want to use those because they're kind of non-returnable. So let's give... Um, let's make him resistant to rage because I feel like that's actually happened. And then... Uh, heat. Sure, and we'll make you have lower MP cost, and uh, you'll be immune to stun. And there you go. Now everyone's got something for everything because the accessories just came from the day the the day itchy edition, I guess, that I got. Otherwise, pretty normal. All right. Now the story wants us to go to Hello Work. Hello Work, my old friend. Your busy day is at an end. I guess we could beat some dudes up on our way to Hello Work. <laughs> Fighting enemy homeless. Battle bum. Pitiful look. Gnarly breath. Watch this. Have fun with this. So that weak you see was he was weak against that, so it defeated him immediately. And uh, he's weak against being hit with a bicycle, as most people are. We got seaweed on Geary. Hell yeah! Rank up for um, homeless guy. I really wish the character name would appear on the screen because I'm still not good at remembering the names. I've got uh, I've got Ichiban Kasuga down, and I guess uh, the reason I kept hearing him saying. Um, uh, anarchy is because that means superior. Like I, I didn't know that. I wasn't I wasn't joking around. I'm not a Japanese culture geek. I didn't know uh, all the terms. I pick some up as I go, but not like. So yeah, I, I thought there was like a character whose name was freaking Anarchy because Anarchy is a name in other parts of the world. It's a person's name. It's a woman's name in Scandinavia, but it's a name. So, um, Nanba. Does he have, like, a full name, or is he just Nanba? I don't know. What else have we got on our smartphone? We've got new miscellaneous tips. Party chat. You can listen in on short conversations that happen among your party members around the city. Listen until the end, and you'll strengthen the bond between you and your party members. Interrupting these conversations by opening menus or triggering a battle will not only force everyone to stop talking, but it's also just plain rude. If you speak to Iro Iroha at Survive, you can listen to conversations you've already had. So I had one that popped up... Um so we'll befriend many allies throughout this adventure. Up to three of them can join him around town in battle. So he cannot be removed from the party's leader. You may choose who will accompany him by pressing party at the pause menu. Hey, taxi. Various park taxis allow you to travel around the city at warp speed. You can even do this by the pause menu. Be aware, however, that rides aren't free and convenience comes at a price. We need to get back to the homeless camp because there was a dialogue that started. And I was like, oh, crap. I don't want to miss this dialogue. And then the game kind of told me. It got interrupted by a battle. But the game then kind of told me, eh, don't worry about it. This will replay when you come back to the area. So I didn't worry about it, but I would have done otherwise. Somewhere in here, we should have gotten a dialogue about my tattoo. I guess we'll have another fight here first. But... Hungry, hungry homeless. Okay. Let's go. this. Have fun with this. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry too much about these enemies. I might even be wasteful to be using magic at all. Oh, we got seafood on here. He's so itchy. He's itchy, Bon. Here we go. Way to the dragon. You've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Well, yeah. Is it a dragon? The shirt and no, the coat. dragon. Covering it. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish. It's like yeah, a dragon. To be honest. But it's fish. I wanted a real dragon. Wait. Then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business. A dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow, that's for real? Well, I guess a dragonfish is pretty cool, too. I guess as long right. as I'm stretching. I'm into it. Someday, I want to earn my place. 
and then my dragonfish is gonna shine even brighter than a dragon. It'll be like a dragon. Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah. Sorry, little dragonfish. There we go. Now our bond is strengthened. Let's go find a job, like the guy said. Like your man said, let's go find us a job. We can become the new Neo. Oh, hold on. There's treasure hunting to be done here. Hmm? We got a wood block. All right. We found some uh, tiny little cars. Found some enemies that I don't really feel like fighting, but I guess it's probably faster to fight them and get it out of the way than try to avoid them. Let's just see a regular old attack from you. And if that's enough, like, am I wasting magic? Yeah, just using magic at all on these guys is a waste. So Ichiban. Well, I guess I shouldn't have even uh, mentioned it at the top of the video because my computer did crash. Got 20 minutes in. I'm trying again. Um, Discord. Oh, God, I'm feeling so frustrated with this everything these days. But Discord doesn't appear in my start menu, but it auto starts with this machine. Every time I boot it up, Discord starts. It's not listed in the start menu. It's something I can remove. So I don't freaking know. But um, yeah, I shut down Discord specific. Rebooted because it hard froze, like held in the power button until the screen went black and it started rebooting. Um, made sure to shut down Discord before opening uh, my recording software. Let's see if we can get through a video. Because actually, I really need to get. To, if I want to get some Death Stranding recorded today, I'm going to miss my upload schedule. I need to get on that because I need to process it and upload it all today. That takes forever. Meantime, though, this is where the story wants us to be. It's hello work. I just saved. Um, don't know if that got cut off or not, but we saved, so that should be... It seems like it's hello work, right? Yeah. And we can search for treasure on our way to hello work. Showed them hmm? that we're serious about hard work. Nothing. How lame. Yeah, this is when you know it's a story-heavy RPG when you're going to the employment office. <laughs> Rather than, you know, fighting bad guys. I didn't think there'd be so many people. Young ones, too. Younglings. Someone warned Anakin Skywalker. 42. What about you? 41, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. No kidding. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. We got something better. Passion. And now we got rags on our heads. Sure. I didn't mean that in a race way, I just meant we bought rags at a store and they were a hat. That's why I really don't want to call you son. Well, basically told him he wasn't sober. Next, please. Which I guess if he had liquor on his breath might have been accurate. You left your current residence blank. Because I don't have one right now. But I'm committed to working. And I don't drink, by the way. Just because of my antibiotics. Well, normally you need an address, but I think we can make an exception. Oh, don't don't establish you so, can do that. You're gonna ask for it a lot. Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but uh, I don't have an address for that either. I'm actually a terrorist, he's undercover. Have you always? Lived on the streets? I'd like to refer you to our support center then. No, I used to have a Gikuza job. It's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills. And but it's got little wait, hearts and I shit. don't need all that stuff. I just need a job. Sorry, but that's our policy for people with a background like yours. You don't know my background. Yes, I just <laughs> really hard. She just told him that I'm he sorry. didn't have an address. That's our policy, sir. Next, please. Wait, hold on he pretty much got ramroaded there. The way. Like he didn't. Well, he didn't explain why he didn't have a childhood address to provide. That messed him up. You gotta be real careful on the. No, I'm, I'm in government. So you gotta be careful. Did your like, I'm not trying to like 
hammer on all government, but I've, I've had someone in government who has to work with government HR, like, you got to make sure that you don't let them take the first word you say and decide what they're going to do with you and stop listening to you. You have to, like, you know, I can tell you nightmare stories about when I came out of the hospital and was trying to catch up and all that all the medical stuff. I'm not even going to tell you a story that I, I want to tell because it involves things that are like biologically unpleasant, but like, I'm usually pretty chill. And I was on this, I was on the phone in a public place screaming, are you fucking kidding me at, at, at some of these medical people? Because like they, you know, they ask you, have you ever been here? Have you ever been here before? And physically? And I said, well, not physically to that site. No. Oh, I, I guess I got to I got to tell you, like, you know, I was in the hospital, I had a catheter installed. It was part of, you know, with safety and stuff in the procedure. Like my systems were shut down. They, they installed a catheter and it had to come out when I didn't need it anymore. And like the office that put it in their fucking admin support staff were like, well, you know, <laughs> we can, we can schedule you for something in like three months. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And they said, well, you said you're a new patient. They said, you've never been here before. So you're a new patient and we don't start taking, we don't have any openings for new patients, but we might be able to see you in July. And this was in like uh, March. And I, but that's the thing. I, I, they, I answered their question, like, have you ever been here before? No. And then they filled in all this shit. Like, okay, now we, they filled everything in about who you are based on how you answer one question. And you have to stop them and actually explain what's going on or you're fucked. They, they were like, he's never been here before. He's a new patient. We aren't taking any new patients until July. Schedule him to come back in July to have a catheter removed. He'll have this catheter in then for... March, April, May, June, July. He'll have it in for like five or six months. And every day it's in, he risks getting an infection. Like my doctors were telling me, get that thing out. The longer it's in you, the more chance you'll have of getting an infection. But no, the admin person on the phone is just like, check the box. Okay, they're a new patient because they said they hadn't been here before. So that automatically makes them five months out. No thinking whatsoever. (laughs) So I feel his pain here because she asked him if he had a childhood address. And he said, well, not really. And then before he could say anything, she just decided he's always been homeless. He fits in this category. You have to stop those people. That's a real thing. (laughs) I didn't mean to go off on this tangent. But that kind of pressed a button for me. I, I just remember being in the hospital. I'd gone, I'd gone to the local hospital to have them. They had to. I mean, I, I shouldn't be telling stories about this, but they, they had to do. They had to do a test. I had a catheter installed because I was in because I had an operation, and I had to go someplace. They weren't going to. They they the people who put it in the urology office that put it in wouldn't take it out until I had a test done somewhere else. Somebody else had to do the test. It took me like. A lot of arguing with them on the phone because they were not giving me information on how to get this test done. Like, they were like, well, you can research that yourself, sir. I was like, can you fucking tell me where I need to go get this test done? But the test that had to get done is I had to go somewhere and they test to make sure that you don't have um, structural damage in your bladder, no leakage. They have to they have to test that out before they pull the catheter back out of you because if you have structural damage in the bladder and they pull out the catheter, then you start having real problems because you start having uh, urine, which is basically toxic. Um, because it's full of chemicals that you don't want in your body. That's the point. Suddenly starts leaking into your organs. So if you have a catheter put in for an operation, they're not going to take it out until they've tested to make sure that you don't have leakage that could cause problems. But, like, the office, like, it wasn't their job to tell me where to have it done. So they were just being super unhelpful about that. And finally, you know, I, I had, like, 20 minutes of calling and getting redirected and find some place that did it went in had it done asked them can you take this thing out and they said well we have the capability to do that but um you know from an insurance standpoint no we're not going to remove it you have to have it removed by the people who did it if we removed it uh you know we could be anything anything goes wrong like there'd be huge legal mess if they remove it they put it in you could sue them they would have insurance blah 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 so i don't why am i still telling this story the point is i'm in a hospital where i just had proved i had spent like every day on the phone with the urology office finding out what they wanted me to do and being told that once you get this done we can you can have it removed immediately you know maybe even the same day if you get it if you get that test in the morning it's even possible no promises sir even possible that same afternoon uh of the day where you had the test done in the morning we might be able to schedule you to have the thing out so I'm calling them saying, hey, I've had this test. I've already talked to like three different people. 
they told me I can have this thing out. I'm hoping for today. If not today, can we schedule for tomorrow? And somebody's like, well, have you been here before? No, I've never been there before. Okay, well, as a new patient, we'll be seeing you sometime in July. Let me open up and see if we can get you in the first or second half of July. <laughs> so that's my story I've been telling for entirely too long now. Hopefully this didn't crash uh, because I can only tell when it crashes because of the sound. And I've had it muted, paused rather, uh, failed to record. There's not enough disk space. Oh, fuck me. Everything is going to hell. I'm going to stop this video. When we come back next time, hopefully we still have a Let's Play going. But I did get my uh, catheter removed, and I didn't have to keep it in for five months. It just involved me in a public place, screaming into my phone with women and children staring at me. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you out of your goddamn minds? <laughs> You're out of your goddamn minds if you keep watching this r train wreck Let's Play, but uh, hopefully you will. See you next time.